my brother might be coming to get this thing in a weekend. So I got about four days left to get this done. I feel like I'm on a TV show with a time frame. I'm kind of nervous about it. Got this stuff all together, glued, screwed. I'll grind these off on the inside and leave them. They're stainless, so that won't be a big deal. All I did was lay a piece across and slide it forward, mark the outside perimeter, cut it off, slide it back into position. That simple. Which brings us to the rest of the gunnels, which means I'm going to take that square, lay it across just like so, even make a pencil mark, cut this off, slide it forward, then I'm going to scribe a line using the outside of the rub rail and I'm going to cut it off, slide it over into place, drop it down, check the fit, make modifications if necessary, and then I'm going to scribe the inside line cut it off and that should give me my shape of my piece it's, it's actually pretty simple to do and they generally are pretty pretty close right off when you get your first cut when I say scribe a line translation is draw a line along something that's my translation so I laid this piece over and I took my pencil and I went just down all the way down around this that was it piece of cake cut it out with a jigsaw it's an end might have been tight uh, could have done this on a regular circ saw but that end would have been tight I just used a jigsaw okay fit it so um, that gaps all right with me I'm not worried about it I will either fill it in with glue like I did here and then sand it off or an epoxy fillet mixture like like this here so anyway um, marked my frames screwed it down then I took my pencil and repeated the scribing process on the inside just put it on there I didn't put it on flat on this one. I actually put the lead up against the inner rail. And you can see here, I drew a, a line to cut off so I'd have a, not a angled butt joint right there, something straight. Okay, so I drew the line. And that's it right there. Now all I have to do is cut it off, leave the line, because I'd like to have it a little bit long, and then I'll go back in and fare it down to the inner rail. So this is my piece for over there. I just took it, flipped it over, wanted to check the symmetry of the boat. And as you can see, the symmetry is not the same. I'm missing a little bit of a bow out right here on this side. But, you know, cut the difference on it, say, eighth inch, and maybe three sixteenths to center. So, um, I'm out. That's out, like a three sixteenths, probably. All in all, I'd say that's, that's not bad. Laid it on, put the point there, <clears throat> come down here, put the point there gave me a uh, three quarters of an inch in the center I thought it was blue it's like a mix between blue and white so it's not very good of a line but um, ended up 14 and a half pull over 14 and a half 14 and a half strike the line I'll cut this panel off and I'll cut this angle here on it across and fit it in to place leaving it hang over scribe it um, I will easily get the other two pieces 
out of this. I'll end up just ripping these straight down in half probably. <clears throat> this post I'm leaving up or want to leave up. I thought it'd be cool to kind of have to tie off stuff to, you know. Um, as I say that, I'm thinking, why not just cut it off and make this easier on yourself and make it cleaner looking. So I'm in debate of that process at this point. If I leave it up, there's my piece of wood. Put it in kind of equidistant, eyeballed here. The boat flares out. So it's not going to be even on the transom. So set the scribe, that's what we call these in my business, to the distance here. And then you run a line down it and get it kind of close. To set this angle, you take this distance, which my scribe is not wide enough for, lay it on make the line. Now when I slide this back and over I have to make this cut out as deep as this which is around about an inch. It's actually a little less. <clears throat> and then continue this line across. Take a straight edge. I'm just using this for something to show you a straight edge. Make the line. Add the inch to it. Cut it all out, slide it over. It will get it close. When I do that, then I can decrease the size or the gap of these and I can be a lot more accurate with it. The boat is laid out really well. There's not, <laughs> there's hardly any scrap material. So that, that's a good thing. <clears throat> 